Hello everybody. Right, I'm in my workshop today and uh, I've just dropped off my steam boiler that I'm making to drop back on to do a modification of my uh, battery electric loco that I built from scratch. Uh, coming up to a year back that now. I'll just show you my, uh, my steam loco. I'm doing a series of videos on me building that from scratch. What I'm doing today is I'm I'm upgrading my battery loco from, from running on 12 volt to 24 volt and uh, I'll just explain what that's rough quickly what, it, what it's going to entail I've got to go into the battery compartment and, and I've got to change my, my wires on my battery over and I'll, exp I'll show you what I'm doing when a bit later on I've got to turn my batteries to run in series instead of in parallel my two batteries which, which they're on now they're in parallel on 12 volt I've got two motors under underneath here, one on each set of wheels. I've not got to do, change any wiring to those, they'll just stay as they are, but they'll run on 24 volt. The only other things I've got to do, which which were a bit, not complicated, are just, bit, just a bit uh, intricate. I've had to go into all my electrics in back here and move a few things out of the way to get to the control box. So I can change two uh, two pins over to run on from 12 volt to 24 and I'll show you that in a moment. So before I do that I'll just go on to the bench and show you a diagram of what I'm doing. Okay then so here's my diagram that I'm, I'm, I'm working to to change it to 24 volt. So I've got to move my batteries and wire them in series from my controller. So the wiring that goes to my motors at the moment is exactly the same as they it would be if there was if my batteries are in parallel. For example, by parallel I mean a red and a black going to each battery instead of the red to the positive and the positive and negative coupled up and then the negative to the negative to the controller so that's in series so I'm going from from parallel to series so I've not got to actually actually alter my motor wires uh, I don't know if you can see this yellow wire on here if it's showing up on video so my batteries are feeding my controller and then my control panels sending message to motors on this yellow wire and the blue wire uh, negative to my motor on blue positive on yellow from the controller to motor and then I've just done another connection one from negative to other negative on, mo on other motor one from positive to other positive on motor so they're running exactly how they was on 12 volt but it'll now be running on 24 volt so that's what that's that's my battery arrangement and my motor arrangement now i've just got to go into the control panel and uh, just turn turn a couple of switches over to go from 12 to 24 now I don't know how, how other cold control panels are wired up. Maybe, maybe I would imagine they're all pretty much similar. But this is a Parkside control panel, and what I've all I've got to do is go into control panel. It's this one here. It's this one here, which I'm working on. And in this control panel, there's there's two little black plugs and at the moment the black plugs are covering pins one and two so there's three pins on there and they're covering pin one and pin two like connecting them together and I've got to move them little black plugs over to, to connect pins two and pins three as it says there look pins 2 and 3 to be covered for 24 volt so I've got to go in my control panel and just do that uh, the only other thing I've got to do 
because I'm running on 12 volt at the moment, I've got 12 volt relays in. So my horn, which is here, I've just got to change this relay to a 24 volt relay. And my sound card, I've just got to change my relay on that to, to 24 from 12. Now that's just straightforward because why is it just going to pull off and push back on once I get my relays fitted? Uh, the sound card can run on 12 or 24 volt and you don't have to do anything to that. That's all. So I'll move over now to Loco and show you what I'm doing. I've, I've wired this up temporarily at the moment. It's not finished and it's not tidy yet. I've got to, I've got to redo that. I've just done it for purposes of trying it to make sure everything works okay. So all I've done... I've kept my original negative wire to, to first battery on and then I've put this linking wire to my positive uh, to my negative and my positive on this battery and then I've took my uh, my positive wire from my control unit over to this other positive on that so that's now in series so now we'll move on to into my uh, compartment at back and I know it looks a bit messy with wires but you know I can't help that so I've, I've removed my sound card because it was sat in front of my control panel so I had to move that out way so I can get the lid off the control panel and I'm just gonna try just between these relays here there's what there's a black plug there and a black little plug there in between. It's difficult to see. But I've just had to get the pliers on them and move it from covering pin one and two to cover pin two and three. And the same with that one. And that's all you've got to do in control panel. And then you can put your lid back on. So I've done that. And then over here, I've got my re this is where my relays are sat. I've got one for the horn and the other one here, which I've not put back yet. That's got to be screwed back. That's for my sound, re my sound card. So I've had to change them from 12 volt to 24 volt. Now, the only other thing I'm going to have to do is my light on the front, That's that will run off 12 volts, so I've either got to get a 24 volt bulb or maybe put a resistor in so it can run off the 24 volt. So, right, I've got it all temporarily wired up now. So you can see my battery readings now are on 26 volt because they're fully charged and it were on 13 volt before. So my wheels now, I mean, my wheels that's going to run on track, they're going twice the speed that they were originally doing on 12 volt. Okay then, while, while I've got my me, uh, me loco on my workbench, I just thought I'd uh, quickly run through the gearing of, of the, the ratio of the gears. I, I did explain it in my uh, series I did when I was making the uh, loco. But I never got chance to show you actually underneath it. And while I've got it on bench tilted up, I just thought I'd quickly show you that just to clarify anything for anybody because I have had um, a few comments on asking me about the gearing. So in front of your ear, this 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 is front at loco, this is rear, and it's identical front and rear. So I've got me 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 track wheel. Uh, I think mine are four and one eighth diameter. 
So I've got a four and one eighth diameter wheel. And on that wheel I've got a 30 tooth sprocket. Cog or gear, whatever you want to call it. And I've got that on both wheels. Then in the middle of my loco here. And I, I will show you underneath in a minute. So you can see the gearboxes I've made. In the middle I've mounted two gearboxes which I've made. And all they are is two bearings with two sprockets on. I've got an 8 tooth sprocket and a 16 tooth sprocket. And then at each end of the loco I've got uh, a motor. I'm just fetching my pen. And this motor I've got is a, it's a 150 watt. So I've been running my loco at 12 volts. And I've just changed all the wiring over to make it run on 24 volt. So I was running at 2500 RPM. I'm now running at 5000 RPM. That's when the motors are at full power and, and fr with no gearing on or load on them. Right, so going back to my motor then. I've got one motor on each end. And on that motor I've got a 12 tooth sprocket. Identical. Right, from my 12 tooth sprocket, I'm running a chain around a 16 tooth sprocket on my intermediate gear uh, gearbox. So, 12 teeth on the motor, round 16 teeth on the gearbox, and then from my gearbox, I'm running I'm running eight tooth sprocket. On both, and then that sprocket on the eight tooth is running up to a thirty tooth sprocket on my wheel. Identical. Um, I've made these these gearboxes on uh, aluminium angle or box section. I can't remember if it was box or aluminium. I'll show, I'll show you in a minute. And I've made them so that they're adjustable each way on it with a slot in, so I can get my tension right on the um, on the chain. I've also got same movement on my motor, adjustable that way on the mounting. So what I do, I adjust my motor. No, I don't. Sorry, I adjust my wheel sprocket on my gearbox and get that the right tension then I fasten my gearbox up and then I adjust my motor on that slot to get my tension for this chain so that that's giving me a, that's bringing me wheel speed down to a thousand rpm give or take a few and it was running at 500 before, so I've doubled it. So that combination of gears has, has, has enabled me to run my wheels at a thousand RPM. That's at 24 volt. Now, when the when it's on the track and when it's got the riding car on and when there's somebody sat on it and it's all loaded up the the motors are never going to run at that speed right so you're going to have to bear with me on this because I'm having to hold the camera with my hand so there are the two gearboxes there in the middle of the loco I'll just pan out so you can get a, an overall view so there are my two gearboxes in centre and I've just made a box section up with one side off chopped off put two bearings in in each side and then put my two sprockets in between with the chain on and where it bolts up to the um, bottom of the uh, floor of the loco I've put a slot in so that can be moved like that to get the chain tension so there's two of them in centre at loco and it's 
like I said, that's got an 8 tooth and a 16 tooth sprocket on the gearbox. My motor over here has got a 12 tooth sprocket and then my wheel has got a 30 tooth sprocket and that all that ratio gives me a, a wheel speed at 24 volt of approximately a thousand rpm now depending on the size of your wheels or, or that'll depend then on what speed your loco will go because it all depends on the circumference of your wheels and I think my wheels are four and one eighth diameter anyway I hope that's um, made it a little bit clearer Right, we'll just switch on then and we'll have a trial run now at 24 volt. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be much different on bench. It's, I'll not know until I get uh, on my track whether it's made any difference. So I'll just uh, put some power on. Everything seems okay, so I uh, hope to try it tomorrow and I'll try that. Anyway, uh, if you've not seen my video making this, take a, take a look back and you'll see me making it from scratch and from all my scrap items in my workshop. Uh, thanks for watching, then I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now.